So I'm doing advanced conjugates again. This time I'm going to rationalize this denominator. And you should see what the problem is. I've got three terms instead of two. Uh, but the same rules all still apply. Uh, the trick to it is to understand that you can group these terms however you want. You could say 2 plus root 2 is going to be my first term and negative root 3 is going to be my second term. You could say 2 is my first term and root, three minus root, uh, root 2 minus root 3 is my second term. I think you're going to be better off, and you can experiment with this, but I think you're going to be better off setting it up so that one of your terms, or sorry, one of your terms is absurd and the other one can be whatever it wants. But if I set it up this way, my first term isn't absurd, uh, so that might cause an issue. That's how I'm going to do it. So my conjugate, therefore, is um, 2 plus root 2, because that's the first part, that's my first term, and then this sign changes. Uh, over 2 plus root 2 uh, plus root 3. Okay, and again, I'm treating this as my first term, and I'm treating this as my, my second term. So, um, the top, that's just going to be exactly as is, 2 plus root 2 plus root 3, and there's actually no need for the brackets, but here, it's going to be 2 plus root 2 times 2 plus root 2, uh, 2 plus root 2 times positive root 3, uh, negative root 3 times 2 plus root 2, and negative root 3 times uh, positive root 3. So, doing this step by step by step, and you can do a little bit of scratch work over here if you want. 2 plus root 2 times 2 plus root 2. That's actually a perfect square. So you should know straight away uh, that that's going to be this number squared. So 4 plus 2 times this times this. So 2 root 2 times 2, which is 4 root 2. And then it's going to be root 2 squared, which is 2. All I've done is multiply this by this. Now that's first. Now I'm going to do my outer ones. Uh, which is 2 plus root 2 times root 3. I'm going to need a little bit of space here. Alright, so root 3 two times root 3 times 2 is uh, 2 root 3. Root 3 times root 2 is uh, root 6. Alright, that's um that was what I just did was this, this whole bracket times that. Now first outer inner. So now I need to do negative root 3 times 2 plus root 2. So that's going to be uh, 2 times negative root 3, uh, which is going to be negative 2 root 3. And then root 2 times negative root 3 is going to be negative root 6. And then finally, negative root 3 times positive root 3 is negative 3. All right, now I should be able to group some of that stuff. Uh, I'm going to stop and think about that for a little bit. So I've got uh, 4 plus 2 plus negative 3. That's 6 minus 3 is 3. Now I've got uh, 4 root 2. Alright, that's all I have there. I have uh, 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3. So they cancel each other out. And I have root 6 minus root 6. Well, that's nice. They cancel each other out too. So now I have 3 plus 4 root 2. Over, uh, sorry, 2 root 2 plus root 2 plus root 3 over 3 plus 4 root 2. That is really simple. That's just rationalizing a conjugate. Uh, 3 minus 4 root 2. Uh, 3 minus 4 root 2. May as well do that over here now. So you're going to have to use, uh, like, put that in brackets, put that in brackets, and multiply all of those terms by that, and then uh, do your rationalizing here. So that's me 3 squared, which is 9, minus uh, 4 times 4, which is 16, times 2, which is 32. And then multiply all of the terms. So 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 times 3 is 6. Root 2 times 3 is uh, 3 root 2. 
root 3 times 3 is 3 root 3. Um, negative 4 root 2 times 2 is negative 8 root 2. Negative 4 root 2 times root 2 is uh, negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8. And negative 4 root 2 times root 3 is negative 4 root 6. Okay, uh, 9 minus um, 32 is some number, negative 23. And then 6 minus 8, so they're my whole numbers, so that's negative 2. Might put that over here somewhere. Uh, 3 root 2 minus 8 root 2 is minus 8 minus 5 root 2. So I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. I've got uh, a 3 root 3. And finally, I've got a negative 4 root 6. Woo! All right, tricky question. Just to tidy up, a denominator that's negative, it's kind of just ugly. So if we multiply everything by negative 1, top and bottom, we'll get uh, 23 as our positive number. Well, negative 2 is actually going to be positive 2. Uh, negative 4 root 6 is going to be positive 4 root 6. Negative 5 root 2 is going to be positive 5 root 2. And 3 root 3 is going to be negative 3 root 3. Just a little bit of like mathematical politeness. You've probably heard me say that a few times. All right, that is advanced conjugates number 2.